All right, what's going on guys? So today I'm gonna go over a warm-up routine for MMA skills training and before the fight. Now I've been doing warm-up routines for before strength and conditioning, for running, for you know basically sport performance from a physical preparation standpoint. But now I'm gonna get into detail on how I utilize my warm-ups for training and for the fight beforehand. So stay tuned, let's get after it. All right, now real quick before I go on, please show your support and subscribe, like the video so it helps the algorithms and also make sure you share this channel if you find this to be relevant for you and for whoever else you think would need it. All right, so let me get on to it. Focus, our focus for this is going to increase readiness starting from general to specific. So I'm gonna use general movements, I'm gonna increase range of motion, and I'm also gonna make sure that I'm ready at all times from a CNS perspective and then go into the specific movements for just directed correlation to the sport. Objective is going to be to provide an athlete with physical and physiological readiness for the practice at hand or the fight itself. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that in a second. Now the steps that you want to take is gonna be first is gonna open up that tissue. So we want soft tissue release. We also want tissue temperature. So primarily what we're trying to accomplish here is to increase the heart rate, to increase that tissue temperature, increase the core temperature, and also get your body moving, right? So you can use a foam roller first. You can also use some type of percussion, whether it be a thorough gun or something there that's going to help you release tension and get your body moving and flowing efficiently. And then you wanna go into some more movements that are going to increase your temperature. And I'll go into, again, more detail in a second. Number two is gonna be increased joint range of motion, right? We wanna make sure that we have passive and active range of motion with all joint capsules. Third is gonna be activating the central nervous system. So we're gonna be doing jumps, bounds, movements like that in a dynamic fashion from a general to specific movement patterns to allow you to, again, activate your CNS. Then we're gonna introduce the sports specific movements. Then after that, you're gonna go right into your directed practice and then move on into the full practice or even the fight itself. If you wanna find out more details in depth, check out my mentorship program, link is down in the description. First thing we're gonna do, again, foam roll. So I'm gonna foam roll or use some type of thorough gun. What I wanna accomplish here is, is basically to relax the tissue, allowing for more movement to be efficient. You're gonna do that for about five five, maybe eight minutes, not too long. Again, you're just kind of rolling on there, getting things moving and feeling good, basically. You're not stiff, but you don't wanna to spend too much time on there. You don't wanna spend an hour or you know half an hour on the foam roller. That's overload and you don't really need it. Number two, right? I like to do some type of light jog. You can do some high knees. You can do some mountain climbers if you're in a tight space. But again, we wanna keep it general. So go for a light jog. I have my guys do that around the mats. And again, this is to increase core and tissue temperature. So next thing we're gonna do is controlled articular rotations and mobility. So you can use a band for this, but I like to use cars or controlled articular rotations and FRC principle. Again, we're working to increase joint range of motion. We wanna make sure that we have the joint prerequisite and we're gaining active range of motion along with that passive range of motion. We wanna be strong in end ranges to allow us to create force. So then you're gonna move on to dynamic movements up the kinetic chain. We're gonna do things like pogo jumps, bounds, hops, like that, side lunges, uh, side laterals, karaoke's, all right? Just moving the body through a similar plane that is gonna be conducive, but also we're moving into that specific. So we're gonna go from a general movement to specific over that dynamic routine, okay? So you're gonna activate the nervous system with these movements, okay? Next, again, we're gonna go purely specific. So now you're looking at shadow boxing, free rolling, something like that that's going to mimic what you're gonna be doing inside your practice or inside the fight. This can be drill orientated. You wanna be sports specific, like I said, so it's gonna prep you for the fight or the, or the practice. And then after that, you're gonna do about 50 to 75% live goes or drilling, and that's gonna be directed practice application. So again, if you're sparring, this is, again, this is more of a 50% go, you're tap sparring, you're really just finding your rhythm and your movement 
Um, if you're doing jujitsu, it's more of a flow roll. You're keeping things less tension orientated. You're trying to flow through movements. You're trying to get in position, but you're not creating a large amount of resistance, right? You're gonna try to just flow through it, make sure your body's ready and capable of going harder, either in the fight or in the practice, the live practice. There it is. Again, if you wanna find out more details, link down below for the mentorship. If you wanna just use these specific warm-up routines, you can use Fight Ready. It's my eight-week MMA program that's going to get you primed and peaked for your competition, especially for MMA. So check it out, link is in the description. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so. Hit the notification so you know when my videos come out. And I thank you again for supporting me. I'll see you again next time, peace.